Test one, two. Can you hear me? Test one, two, yeah. Can you I hear can't me? hear you. You can't? Nope. I've been muted. You've been muted. I can't even hear me. Okay, well, anyway, here we go. Hello, Gosstown. Um, welcome to the Grizzly Den, where the, uh, the Lady Grizzlies will be tipping off here against the Merrimack. And uh, I'm Bob Bertolucci, joined tonight with Rob Foreman. Uh, Rob will be um, sort of doing his first game, so I, this would be interesting. Scott's doing the boys' game, and we got Ava Winterburn tipping off for Gosstown. Rob, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. Thanks, Bob. I'm going to follow your lead tonight. Well, we don't want to do that. <laughs> I still can't even hear myself in the headphones, so I don't know if we're going out there in the world, but back in the studio. All right, so out of bounds and Gosstown's ball here. Noel Simmons will be throwing it in over to Winterburn. Winterburn puts one up. Oh, and that went off Gosstown. So, no, it didn't go off Gosstown. No, no, it's our ball, Gosstown ball. And Ava Winterburn. Rogerio. All right. Winterburn puts one in. Win Lily Green really keeping the ball active underneath. Yeah, she did a good job. So Merrimack's going inside. Ava's going to draw the foul on that under the basket. So Merrimack will go to the line. Puts it up. Winterburn gets the rebound to Simmons. Simmons brings it down the court. Thought she was going to go inside with that, but out to Ava. Sasso. Back up to Ava on the outside, and she hits good. it for two more. That'd be good if Ava's uh, on tonight. Yeah, if she can hit that jump shot uh, from about 12 out, that frees up the inside. That's right. That'll put us. That'll keep us in it. Merrimack. Oh, Simmons, really good hustle, and she's coming down with the ball. The pass by Sasso. Lily Green right Lily under. Green. And Green puts one up. I'll tell you, it's a, the team's really different. That Simmons out there is yeah. the, the, the girl never stops. She just hustles. She's got the endless motor. Yeah, they really showed themselves the other night at Winnicott and how athletic they are and how quick they get up and down the floor. Yeah, we should talk about that a little bit. I guess you were at the Winnicott game, and of yep. course we broadcasted the game uh, Friday. I, I don't think it's. I don't know if it's up yet. On it is GT. up. Yeah, it, it is. is yeah. Okay. Um, you know that game. I I do think uh, Goffstown had a good game plan in the beginning. Got away from it a little bit late in the game, and the big problem was hitting shots. Uh, and I guess we were doing a better job of doing that in Winnicott. Winterburn's coming down with it. Oh. It's good luck. It's good to see him run the floor. Yeah, so against Winnicott, they were very athletic, uh, moved the ball, looked to hit the cutters, um, you know, not settling for the three, looking for that 10 or 12 foot jump shot. Well, and that and that's the important thing too is this. Good take by Ruggiero. Again, they're, they're bringing it to the, they're bringing it to the hoop this time and Making better shot, shot selection is going to be important tonight. Absolutely. Kickball. Hey, one, one, one. You can hear the Merrimack coach, and he's calling out a play. I was telling right now, he's doing a pretty good job of keeping him out. Yes. And they're going to take a long three, and she's 
No basket. Oh, no hit bad. the fixture hit above. The so no basket. I don't know if Caleb's back in the studio, but maybe he can come out here a minute. Check my headset. Over to Good Simmons. job breaking the press here. Excellent. Oh, in the Lily Green. Well done. And nice layup from Lily. It's good. They seem to be passing the ball around good with the scoring here. Yeah, the eyes are up the floor looking for their teammates. Sasso's coming down with the ball. Spin she move. puts one up. Oh. That'll be white ball. Oh, it's just off backcourt. So it's 10 to two early here. And Gosstown seems to be going to doing a good job defensively. And like you said, the shot selection has been good. They're not taking these threes that they're not going to hit. They're going in, bringing it into the hoop. And they seem to be taking care of the ball on the uh, defensive side, the rebounding and going up the floor, which is, uh, I think, with this athletic five that's in here to their benefit. Right. So Simmons is going to bring this down for Gosstown. Winterburn, nice turnaround jumper. She hit that one. That was a nice shot. Uh, six quick points for her, so that's good when she gets going early. Six, six, six. And Winterburn bringing it down. A little hesitation oh, a move. Stop. Again, Lily in there fighting for those rebounds. Yeah, and I thought that went yeah, off her, yeah. but I guess it didn't. So Goffstown's going to inbound this again. Simmons made a nice move. Ava, ooh, I thought Good she was going to go for the three. Inside, inside out. Simmons goes for the three. three and hits nice it. job. Nice shot. Noel Simmons hit the three. Good ball movement. Kick the ball inside, then back out for the open shot. Right. So Sasso's get one. That's her second foul already, so want to be careful. She's going to come her, out. That's her first. Meredith's going in. Didn't they announce that was, that? Uh, was Sasso. Second? Sasso's first, and uh, Ava Winterburn's got one. Oh, Ava's got the other one. That's true. Even the announcer here, Father Time there, got that wrong. That's okay. And we're here for each other tonight. Well, that's true. We have to be. So Merrimack's going to call timeout 15-2. to two. So Goffstown's doing a really good job defensively and not giving them a lot of looks. And the couple looks they had, they haven't been able to finish. So that's good. Goffstown, on the other hand, has been doing a lot better than they were last week where they weren't finishing as well. Agreed. And Merrimack came out, I think their game plan was to trap early on in the full court pressure, and we uh, were able to break it pretty easily, um, get some easy baskets. So we'll see how they make an adjustment on their half-court defense here. Well, with the with the starting five Gosstown had out there, too, it's a lot of speed. You got yeah. Simmons and Ruggiero and stuff, so it's got the speed. Goffstown had two subs uh, here recently, so we have the younger Winterburn in, and uh, Lily Trinka reports in. So now we opted for some more size. Yes. Winterburn shoots a long three. Well, that's not going to be any good. So it looks like we're going with the press, so that's good. I like, the, I like when Goffstown's aggressive yes. in defensive of the zone. So they're backing out of it. Back to 
Oh, travel. Travel, travel against Merrimack. Yeah, the other night at Winnicott and Lily uh, Trinka came off the bench and really provided a spark. Um, she's athletic. She just moves. She's got some size to her. Um, clogs up the middle on defense. So it's nice to have a few weapons on the bench that you can uh, substitute in. Oh, Noel with a nice three. Just missed it. Yeah, Trinka, Trinka's good. She's a dedicated athlete when she gets out there. So it looks like it's got pretty good pace to the to the game here. Goffstown's moving pretty good. Hunter Burn with the drive for two. Oh, nice. Thinks that one. Okay, got beat in trans transition there, but got lucky. Now Goffstown's slowing it down a little bit. Down by Emma. Oh. Nice basket. Was that Shannon, right? That is Shannon. Yep. So Simmons. Winterburn to Winterburn. Oh, Ruggiero finds an open Winterburn. <laughs> yeah. Good pass by and Simmons. And there you go. Oh, Meredith sinks one and draws the foul. That's that really nice. good. Yeah, that's the key, really, for the offense. Just find an open winter burn Absolutely. and get him the ball. And it looks like Ava Vaughn's making her way back in the game, so she'll come in for uh, for Noel. Oh, not the, here we go. All right. Yep, so the exchange happened, yeah. a little substitution. I weren't sure if that exchange was going to go off. Three-point play for the uh, younger Winterburn, Meredith. Right. Oh. Merrimack's trying to get it in under the basket. Gostown's doing a good job of keeping him out. Long three. I don't think that had a shot at all. Oh, nice one. Maddie McCaffrey. Here comes Ava. Put one up, just missed now. Okay, so Goffstown's got to be careful here that they don't get too sloppy. You don't, you don't want to settle for that quick shot. Um, really work the ball around, I think, is to our benefit. So Ruggiero under the basket draws the foul, or gets the foul. Movalucci sinks the first one. And Emma's got them both. So that brings them uh, 2010. Just about a minute to go in the first quarter. Jump ball. So Merrimack's getting a little aggressive now, so they're starting to... Meredith with a long shot. Three. three pointer. She had another nice three. Oh, double tipped. Well, that'd be Goffstown's ball. Yeah, Ava Winterburn running in transition with her hands out. Double tipped off of uh, Merrimack. And Trinka put That's a great. nice layup. And she drew a foul, really too, tricky. so she'll, she'll get a chance to make this a three. Foul number 11, Kaylee Smith. Coming in for Merrimack as Alexa Best. She went in for Kaylee Smith on Merrimack. So Trinka will get one here. Just missed. Winterburn, Winterburn with, with a nice steal. That's Ava Winterburn. Oh. oh. Goffstown retains the ball under a minute here. So Ava's coming out and Ella is going in. Ooh. 
Kick ball. I didn't see what happened with Kick that. Ball, the ref yeah. was right in front of me. <laughs> Over to Trinka. Trinka, another spin move. Oh, yeah. if she completed that, that would have been nice. Oh, great, nice move. Great crossover dribble. Yeah. That's Valuzzi. We've got 30 seconds here. Trinka again under the basket. She puts it up. Oh, Meredith, beautiful Meredith. rebound. That's not doing a good job of getting yes. these rebounds. So there's five seconds left. It's going to be about denying Merrimack on the final shot. Oh, tough oh, foul. Threw a foul. Oh, Meredith. So Merrimack will take a shot. Always she tough. This is the first one. Tough to shoot when no one's on the line with you, too. Well, she misses both. So we're into the first quarter. Uh, Twenty-five, ten, Goffstown. That's good. They're very successful when they uh, would drive to the basket. Lily right there in the end of the second quarter, taking it to the basket. Uh, Ava Winterburn with that 10-foot jump shot, and she's got eight leading all scorers right now. Uh, and her sister chipping in with six, so 14 for the Winterburns in the first quarter. Yep, there you go. So the Winterburns alone are beating Merriman. Yes. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty good. So if we can keep the shooting going like this. So I think it's hopefully, uh, you know, coach is talking to him now. Hopefully the key is, is just to basically more of the same. Um, I think it's safe to say Goffstown, uh, the Grizzlies have had control really most of this game so far. They have. They have the size, the athletic uh, speed. And like you said, I think if you stick to the game plan, it, it obviously 25 points in a quarter is uh, pretty good at the high school level. Right. Well, this is a good pace, and they seem to be distributing the ball pretty well, too. Yeah, so absolutely. that's good, too. So even though uh, the Winterburns have a lot of the points. Yeah, you had uh, eight, eight, it's really going eight different people scored in that first quarter. So. Right. So Merrimack's bringing it in. Madison puts Mc, uh, McCaffrey put one up for a long three. Almost got that one, but didn't. So Meredith Winterburn comes back. Noel Simmons is back in the game. Good take. And she does a nice little layup. That's really good. Good shot. Rebound by Ava Vaughn. Good to see Ava out there with Noel. That doesn't happen that often, but yeah. that's good. Both those two hustle and they're determined to get the ball. They are. Gosstown's distributing it pretty well, passing it around. Over to Simmons on the outside. She's driving it in. Hit the wave. Good Eva save Vaughn. by Ava. Mm -hmm. I tried over. to save Ava yeah. from hitting the basketballs, but I could not. <laughs> and Merrimack will retain the ball. That was ugly possession, but... Merrimack ball under the basket. Yep, we'll Ava we'll Vaughn gets the rebound on the long jump shot. Over to Simmons. So Simmons is working. She's looking around. Out. 
Meredith Winterburn back to Simmons. Simmons is going in, putting up the layup. Oh, just missed. Uh, Lily Green again, shot. though. Yeah, Lily's really under really the basket. Really working the, the boards. Yep. That's exactly where you want Lily yeah. under the basket when she's working it pretty good. She's doing a good job getting her hands on everything. Oh, they called the ball on the, the foul on the floor, so no shots. Not really sure how she was attempting a shot, and that was a foul on the floor, but. You almost caught Ava again. Yeah, I know, really. Ava came flying over. Oh, nice <laughs> steal by Ava Vaughn. Over to Simmons. Simmons bringing it in herself. And oh, oh just missed that layup again, but Lily's under there. Lily gets fouled again on the offensive rebound. Well, this time she's going to get the shoot. I think so. They're, they're going to put her on the line this time. Yeah, that's good. That's fouls on Emma Valuzzi, her first. So good hustle from Simmons. <laughs> I don't think she was close enough to hear you. Yeah, probably not. Her headset's not working either. Yeah, I know, really. <laughs> My headset isn't working, guys. <laughs> you sound good on my end. Well, that's all that counts, right. right? The velvet voice of Bob Bartolucci, right? <laughs> that's it. So Ava Winterburn looks like she's going to be checking back into the game. Along with uh, uh, Alyssa Kaylee Hunt. Bournemouth on the basket there. Simmons is coming in. Oh, she... Wow, made she's... another good move going in deep, and once again, Lily under the under the basket. Yeah, doing a good job fighting for that. A great sign to see Noel just really take it to the basket. And Alyssa Hunt also checked in. I guess it was a travel there. I don't know if it was Alyssa or Noel. So Tomahawks will be bringing, them, bringing it out now. 28-12, Goffstown, the Grizzlies doing a good job keeping control of the game. Again, not giving them a lot of good looks. They've really had to settle for shots. Like that one. Yes. And Madison McGaffrey almost got it anyway, but. And the difference on, on our end of offensively is we're driving to the basket. And down there, you're watching them just pass around and settle for a long shot. Lily Green's coming out, and Miss Trinka goes back in. Lily and Trinka. So Noel's going to bring it down. A little half court trap here. And that leaves. It. Oh, nice. Meredith Winterburn. That's Meredith hits another three. It's two threes Meredith for her. Winterburn, yep. So two threes. But Noel did a great job. There was a half-court trap, found the open teammate. One more pass for an open three. It's it's hard to trap her. She's got great speed, Noel Absolutely. does. And here comes Ava Winterburn. Oh, Good nice. Kick out. And McCaffrey goes in and gets a nice layup. That was a good shot by McCaffrey. Noel Simmons is bringing it back down for Goffstown. To Winterburn. Looked like she was going to put up the three. Changed her mind. Out to Lillian Trinka. It looks like a foul there. You know what's a lot different than last Friday? And Scott and I were commenting on it. You, you see now, Goffstown is driving to the basket. Yes. They're, they're trying to get it into the paint. They're trying to drive in, and they're having a much better job scoring. Yep. And if they're not scoring, they're drawing the fouls. Um, Absolutely. Where I think last week... Uh, oh, Winterburn on the inbound. Right, that was nice. Last week against Memorial, um, I felt that a lot of times they were just taking those outside shots and sort of... Not being aggressive to the yep. hoop. Yeah, like you said earlier, the, you know, the beginning of that Memorial game, we saw some of it. And then uh, we kind of got away from it as the game went on. But it, the Winnicott game was a lot like this. Uh, we looked to drive to the basket. Okay, so so Merrimack's going to bring this out. That's Mc Madison McGaffrey. 
I certainly think she's certainly one of Merrimack's better players. Her along with Emma Beluzzi, who's got the ball now, looking to distribute. And again, Gostown's doing a good job of keeping him outside. Winterburn with a rebound over to Lillian Trinka. Trinka beats it on the outside. Here comes now Noel. Noel Simmons. Oh, it's going to be tough. a backcourt. Out of bounds, but it's going to be a Merrimack ball. Ruggiero checks back into the game. Yeah, Ruggiero went in for uh, Simmons. Yes. So Merrimack's bringing it in. Now it's out to Emma Valuzzi. Again, Gostown's doing a good job of keeping him outside, not yeah, giving him any good perimeter. looks. Having a tough time getting the ball inside. Well, they're also not driving. No, they're, they're not, not driving it in. I think if they did, they might be able to draw a foul or two, but that was tip. Ooh, I thought that was tip by Gostown, but looks like it's going to be Gostown's ball. And Merrimack just called a timeout, 30-second timeout. Yeah, what you noticed, you know, uh, like you said, they were look, not looking to drive to the basket. It's almost like it's, uh, you know, in this five-out pass-and-cut offense, but nobody cuts to the basket. They're almost screening across uh, to the wing, and they're not getting anything on the, on the inside. So we'll see how this goes. You got to be happy with uh, right now with the way Goffstown's playing. Um, 33 to 14, second quarter. And Goffstown seems to be pretty much controlled this game from the jump, um, having their way with, uh, with Merrimack, both defensively and offensively. Yeah, Merrimack's tried a couple different defensive sets. Uh, they tried a half court trap, a full court. Looks like they're going to pick up maybe three quarters trap now. We've been able to answer everything thus far, so let's see. Rogero brings it in over to Ava Winterburn. Winterburn's patrolling. Oh, throws it down deep. <laughs> Back in. Ava Rogero. I love when the Ruggiero point guard's got underneath. a great move in the post, yeah, right? She, nice little spin move. A little and puts up and it under. Right up. Yeah, that was a nice... Again, it, Winterburn's, the Winterburn sisters are doing a good job defensively. Now Trinka's on the floor for a ball, and it's going to be a jump ball, and it's Goffstown's ball. So Penelope's coming in, and Caroline... Foreman, you, yes. might, you might be vaguely familiar with her. I've heard of her once or twice. Yeah. Well, that's good. So don't blow it there, Dad. No, I try Let's not see. to scream out too much at her. Winter Burns holding up on the line. Over to Ava. Winter Burn with the miss down low. Merrimack's coming down. Oh, wide open. They let her go in. Oh. This could be a coast-to-coast -coast here. Oh, hit away just yeah. in time. And I think that was uh, Shannon Sadawi who's got her hand in on that and knocked it away from Winterburn. As Ava, yes, was going to go coast-to-coast -coast yes. there. Ooh, nice shot, nice shot by Madison McGaffrey. Again, she's uh, yeah, she's got six of the 16. Yeah, she's certainly been their most consistent scorer. She's a freshman too, I yeah. believe. Yep. So, oh, that was a nice move. That was a good move. Uh, that was a very nice move by Emma Valusi. I thought she was going to put that in, but she just missed. Came underneath the basket. tipped out well that's good you saw that yeah the ref was standing right there's a lot of moving targets over here we got coaches and refs and 
Yeah, and it's hell to get old because I got the glasses. <laughs> I need to see this to see the, who's got the ball. Yeah, it's and like then, eight fonts but, yeah, on that But when I sheet. look up, I can't see anything through the glasses. Winterburn from the corner. So it's like, it's almost like having, you just got to do the conversation thing because I'm sitting here trying too hard to figure out all the names of everybody yet. I don't even have all the Gosstown players down like I want to, like I should. That's a long, long season, Bob. Last week You'll I didn't there. bring the paper home with me to study. <laughs> I got to do homework. And at my age, homework's never an easy <laughs> no. thing, Rob. You might know that, Rob, but yeah. you're much older than I am anyway. Yes. Or at least you look much older than I am. Nah, I think we might be in the same class. <laughs> so McGaffrey's going to throw this back and inbound it for Merrimack. We Trinka got with the tip. Minute and a half left. Trinka hits it away. Again, Goffstown doing a very good job of keeping them on the outside, not giving them a lot to shoot at. What Ruggiero. a play by Ruggiero. Over to Winterburn. Winterburn's coming in. Oh. And Winterburn with the... Oh, Ruggiero. Ruggiero went under the yeah. basket, basically on the floor. Picked yes. that up and put it, was able to put it in. So that's nice. Oh. <laughs> Ruggiero's doing everything to get that she ball. Is. As Veluzzi's got six. Yeah, so you got Veluzzi and McGaffrey of basically all, every, all the offense for them. Golf sounds going to blow a timeout here. Yeah, they're going to call a 30 second timeout. 42 seconds left in the quarter, or in the half now. 37-18, uh, Goffstown. Again, Goffstown's really holding uh, control here. Both sides of the court, defensively and offensively. You got to be pretty happy with the way they're playing tonight. Yep, and I think uh, Coach Largy's probably drawing up a play to milk the clock a little bit, get a good shot. Um, I think if you can get another basket here and not allow them another chance, going into the locker room uh, holding, you know, 18 points from defense is really, really good. All right. So. Both teams are in the bonus at this point, so been a fast-paced game though. it was I mean it's yeah. been uh, kind of back and forth up and down the court I'll tell you I mean you know we got a good sized crowd here too uh, you know the upper deck seems to here. be full yeah the up <laughs> of the last row up against the wall Sasso's gonna end bound it over to Ruggiero the Sasso inside the winter burn winter burn there puts one up and there's the two that's what they were drawing up I Absolutely. think that's just the way they drew that up I agree um, oh uh-oh wow so they draw a foul on him oh for zero her second yeah I think you're right that's exactly what he drew up let's let's get it into the post if they double kick it out if not spin and take it yeah so Merrimack's going to the line, and she sinks the first one. And this is Kaylee Bormuth. And she'll line up, take the second shot, and she got them both. So 39, 20, 25 seconds to go. Gosstown be best to just slow this down, just take all the time off the clock and get that one shot. Great oh, double what a team. steal. Ava was looking the other way. Here we go. Oh, Ten seconds. And oh, tough oh, shot. Ruggiero steals one under the basket and puts it up. And she stepped out. You got two seconds here. So on that steal, Ava was uh, looking to dish that ball off. I think over to Ruggiero yeah. and... Um, you got a great steal by Emma Valuzzi. Um, took it right right away from her. Sasso for three at the buzzer. And that's just a little outside. So <laughs> we're ending the half at 41 to 20, and we'll be back for second half action in just a little bit. Thank you.
um, you know, the buzzer just went off. So, um, you know, I'm assuming we're back live. So that was a good first half by Goffstown. Again, they dominated both sides of the field on the floor. Uh, 41-20. What did you think of uh, everything going on in the yeah, first I half? Yeah, I thought uh, what they did early on was look to get the ball inside, 10, 10 feet and under, look to use our height, our athleticism, drive to the basket, uh, aggressive on defense, and really force them to take long jumpers. Don't let them inside. Right. We haven't been letting them inside. And like you were saying, too, the, the scoring has been really spread out. Yes. Uh, the Winterburn sisters are dominating a little bit, but other than that, everybody's... Uh, yeah, we had, six, we had six of our players score. Uh, hit some three-pointers, hit the free throws, uh, you know, doing the little things right. That's right. And a lot of hustle uh, defensively, too. We're getting the rebounds, too, so that's the big thing. So Merrimack inbounds it, and that just went out of bounds. And I'm thinking the coach heard our uh, commentary there. The first play out of the huddle was a high ball screen to get somebody to the basket. That's true. Well, you know, if they do pay, if, if the coaches pay attention to us, they, right. they, they will get words of wisdom. Um, there are, there are definitely McCaffrey. some nuggets that we're That's spreading, right. you know? So here we go. Simmons is bringing it out for Goffstown, spreading it around over to Winterburn, over to Sasso. Sasso's trying to get it inside underneath for Lily Green. Lily Green puts up another one. That's got to be at least six points for her, I yeah, think. Yeah, she's got seven, actually. She had a free throw. Oh, so. she had a free throw, so yeah. seven points. So that's a good job by Lily Green. What I notice is she finds a good spot on the floor. Good drive. Good spot on the floor to, to either get an offensive rebound or receive a pass. So Simmons uh, picked up a foul here. And uh, against... Uh, Emma Beluzzi, I'm certainly her and McGaffrey have been uh, basically yeah. all the offense for uh, Merrimack, uh, the Tomahawks, and she just hit her first free throw here. She'll get a second shot at it. And that went out of Brown. I think that Merrimack went off Lily ball. Green. So Madison McGaffrey is going to inbound it again for Merrimack. Merrimack got the ball. Well, nice setup. Ava Brown, I mean, Ava Winterburn got that ball. Sasso's coming down over to Simmons. Winterburn calls for it. She's taking it into the basket. She gets her own rebound, puts it up again. Lily with a rebound. That, that, back. Is that Lily Green again? That was. Underneath. Yeah. I'll tell you, she's really on tonight. Ruggiero with the tip. Lily and Green. Yeah, there we go. We got we got a correct father time here every now and then when he's <laughs> calling the baskets. Oh. Good save by what Ruggiero. A, yeah, what a what a move by Ruggiero. Sasso draws a foul. Well, we got to take a minute and just compliment Ruggiero on a sparkling play she just made. That's uh, right. She says that one of her favorite things to do is listen to our broadcasts. And, yeah, we had up. a nice uh, chat at halftime and that's, uh, that's true. shared some insight. So we got Sasso on the line here. Maggie puts one up, sinks the first one. 46 24 Goss. Tried to really egg her on. You know, what can I say to get her dad all fired up? He sits in the front row every game. Yeah, but you could, you could tell too. He's just very confused over there. <laughs> really does not know what's going on. <laughs> Good play by Ruggiero there again. Uh, pressure of the ball and gets a turnover. Yeah, in fact, uh, on opening night, we credit him with a timeout. He yelled timeout loud enough that the officials called the timeout, and Largy didn't call the timeout. Oh, so, really? Yeah, we'll he's one that. for one on the timeout calls. Oh, Ava Winterburn, nice move. Spin move. Fades one way, twists, turns the other way, and puts one up. So again, Belusi's coming down for Merrimack for the... Kicks it out. Oh. Lily Green draws a foul, so she'll go... She won't go to the line no, for that, no. Foul on Bournemouth. That's her second foul. I've watched the last couple of trips, uh, you know, when they're feeding Ava Winterburn at the high post. And if you watch Lily down low, she's getting great positioning, uh, ready to score or get that offensive rebound. 
Yeah, well, she's she's doing a good job. She's getting her hands literally on everything that comes yes. under the hoop. Sasso draws another foul. Sasso draws the foul. Here goes Sasso. Takes her first shot. Just off the back rim. Sasso's lining up, take her second shot, and she sinks that one. So now Merrimack, the Tomahawks are coming down again with it. Veluzzi over the McGaffrey. McGaffrey and Veluzzi are the two. They're really the whole offense they so are. far for, for Merrimack. And you can tell that they're trying to drive it in. Yeah, and it's tough. They just haven't hit that outside shot. Well, the thing is, too, they keep taking it, but credit to Gosstown, they're really not giving them much. Uh, it's making it very difficult for them to, to get in. Um, you can see that there are two more talented players are trying to go on the inside and get drive it to the basket. And if they're not having success, they can only kick it out, and the only shot left is to try this That's right. three that they're not going to make. Yeah. So Merrimack calls a timeout there. There was a foul on McCaffrey, so she picks up her third foul. Um, Merrimack's already got four fouls here in the first couple minutes, so. Yeah, if they lose either McCaffrey or uh, Emma Veluzzi, yeah. uh, you could probably change kiss any of their chances off. It's 50-24 here in the third quarter. So, Goffstown is definitely dominating this. Uh, still on all sides of the ball. So again, Rob, it's it's very difficult getting old. I don't know if you have the problem with the eyes yet. I do. Uh, you know, so I have my readers and yeah. my prescription glasses at home. On one, another one in the office. Oh, well, why aren't you using well, readers now? Well, I got to use I, the readers. I'm looking down at the score sheet. I then pre printed take my off. sheet in like 14 fonts so I oh, can read it. Oh, that's why. Yeah, you know, I'll make so. you a big eye chart next. Yeah, next would you game. do that? Yeah, I will. Yeah, I, I need a big Put one. Put it on a poster board for you. All right, so Gosstown's going to end uh, in, inbound this. Meredith to Ava, so the Winterburn sisters exchange passes over the Sasso. Back out to Simmons on the outside. Ava takes a long three and just missed it. Maya from Merrimack picks it up and over to Emma Valusi. Emma's bringing it down, and again, they're kicking it outside. Simmons is all over her. Yeah. Yeah, and Merrimack. Merrimack. Merrimack had to call a timeout yeah, there. Yeah, that's his fourth timeout, so he's only yeah. got one left. We've got a lot of game left. Right, and yeah, basically, Goffstown was all over that ball. So uh, Merrimack really is not getting an opportunity to set anything up. I think the only thing they can really do offensively, they have to try to slow it down and try to pick their shots a little bit better. Um, so they're having a difficult time getting the shots they off. Are. But credit to Goffstown getting right in there. They are. The defensive intensity has been better the last two games. Uh, you know, and offensively, like we've, we've said over and over again, you know, when they look to move the ball and look inside and play inside out sometimes, that's that's when we're playing our best. Right. Well, the important thing is, too, is, uh, you know, the difference from last Friday night. And uh, I'm like you. I didn't go on the road trip to yeah. Winnicunna. Um, you know, so I'm basing it on what I saw last week. The, the, Gosstown's doing a much better, they're, they're hitting those shots now, where last week they were missing some pretty easy shots, yeah. some layups, and uh, they took some, they had some poor shot selection last week too, which you can look at, but they're also hitting the ones yeah. they should be hitting this week. Oh. oh, McGaffrey had the ball, was drawing it in, and she ended up drawing a foul Maggie against Sasso. Sasso. Yeah, it almost seemed at the Winnicunna game that they uh, responded to the adversity much better than they did against Memorial. When things got scrappy against Memorial, um, we didn't have an answer. Against Winnicunna, there were some technical fouls, some pushing, some shoving, uh, and we really stepped it up and uh, got stronger inside. And, of course, the thing you got to remember, too, Rob, is it's still, you it's know, early. it's only the third game of the season. So, obviously, uh, we keep hearkening back to the Memorial game, but the, that was the first game. So, these yeah. girls are just getting a, sort of a feel for each other. Yeah. Yeah, and a you know, the first test, it did, not having a full season last year, 
um, some younger girls on the roster that really haven't had varsity experience. Um, so again, I think that Winnicunic game was a good, a, a better test for us. Right. So Meredith Winterburn to Sasso, back to Winterburn to the other Winterburn. Sasso takes a long three just off the rim. Meredith does a good job of getting the rebound, keeping it in. Sasso now brings it in and takes a nice two pointer. It, that was a beautiful that shot. That elbow jump shot she has is, is really her sweet spot. I'll tell you, again, you gotta you gotta like Goffstown's intensity here. They're, I mean they got the game well in hand, but they're not they're not letting up at all. No. And now you got Sasso getting her own rebound. Plus we got somebody got and fouled. It looks on the like play. she drew a foul, so it's a holding foul. So blue thirty one. <laughs> So Frizzella with her first. But this was not a shooting foul, so Noel's going to inbound this. Ava Winterburn's come out. Trinka is in. Sasso takes an ill-advised shot from the outside. And there's Simmons and there's, again. And Simmons all over the rebound, and yeah. she drew another foul. That's Maya Frisello has got two fouls now and just yeah. maybe six seconds there. And like I oh, said back before, back. with 4.13 to go in the third, uh, we're in bonus. That's so right. It could be a long, long fourth quarter. I think a little bit of frustration starting to come out for Merrimack, it's safe to say. I think so. You know, looks like it, Ava Vaughn looks like she's making her way back in the game for Goffstown. And she's coming in for Lily, for Lily Green. Lily Green. So, Goffstown is just going to play zone. They're going to. They're content to keep Merrimack again to the outside. That was oh, a nice Merrimack play. Did a good job drawing that one in. <clears throat> That's what they need more of, Merrimack. Agree. Um, nice steal. Meredith picks it up. Ava Vaughn takes the shot from the outside. Oh, again, oh, well, Simmons again. right in there for that. I mean, what a steal! Great pass, Sasso. And Meredith. Winterburn grabs the ball and puts it up. So I think there'll be a foul on him, Noel. Yeah. Yep, Noel Simmons. So he's matched up with the uh, post player in there. So the Tomahawks will go to the line. Ruggiero checks back in. So it's Maya Frisella on the line for the Tomahawks. Ruggiero checked back into the game. Who'd she go in for? She went in for Noel Simmons. Oh, Simmons, okay. And what's interesting is uh, both of them are on the starting lineup, but they have a lot of the same attributes. Um, really hustle, they're not afraid to get inside, get a loose ball or a rebound. Yep, they're both not afraid to get dirty. They're, no. You know, you, you need those players. Oh, Meredith takes another three-pointer. Yeah. That's three threes That's three for, for her. her. <clears throat> so good job for Meredith Winterburn. So she seems to be really on tonight. McGaffrey takes a shot under the basket. Just wide. Meredith comes down with the rebound. Meredith Winterburn. Sasso over to Trinka. Trinka brings it down. Back to Sasso. Oh, Ava thought about taking that outside oh, shot. Take. Went in and drew a foul. So again, that's going to put Ava Vaughn on the line. That's seven fouls already in third quarter against uh, Merrimack. So Vaughn's on the line for two. And she sinks the first one. So with 2.55 left, Rob, it's 59.26, and Ava will shoot for her second foul shot. And in and out. So Merrimack's going to work this down. And they actually go underneath the basket. 
Oh, off the head there. Yeah, went off two heads. <laughs> A white ball. Lou is out of bounds, so yeah. uh, Goffstown will inbound this here. So Meredith Winterburn is back. Merrimack's keeping too deep, try to get the steal, unable to do it. Now Sasso's working it up the court over to Meredith Winterburn. Winterburn tried to go inside the Ruggiero, and it was blocked nicely by the Tomahawks. Emma's got it on the outside for the Tomahawks. And again, Merrimack was trying, with, desperately trying to work it down under the basket, and it was a travel there. Yeah, they're really trying that high screen and roll. Right. And uh, just shuffled her feet there. Meredith Winterburn inbounds it to Ruggiero. Out to Sasso, kicks it out to the top of the point. Inside to Ruggiero, Maddie. Meredith with another three. You know another it's your day, three, right? On the bank. Three. You know you're on when you can't miss. <laughs> the bank three-pointer. Winterburn. Having a good day. Yes. And it looks like Merrimack went to a zone, so uh, I, they're having a hard time stopping us driving to the basket. All the way over, girls. Merrimack works that, they work that inside nice. Trinka comes Lily down with the, with the rebound. Ball. Almost got her head stepped yeah. on. So Sasso's bringing it down. She's going to take a three now. She thinks maybe the winter burn magic might have rubbed, right. rubbed off on her. Almost the same it. spot where uh, yeah, Meredith hit it from. So we got Josh on the Asford in for Sasso for Goffstown. And Emma Velusi comes out for Merrimack. But McGaffrey's back in. Meredith Winterburn passes it. Ava Vaughn with the ball now. Back to Meredith inside. Good ball Gust movement. Yep, Gustav's doing a good job of moving this. Trinka with a nice play under the basket. Gets her own foul rebound. Here. As she goes to put it up, she drew a foul. Against Merrimack, I think that's going to be against Casey Smith. Kaylee Smith. So Trinka will go to the line. 62-26. So it's been a while since Merrimack got a, got a point here. What was the exact score at the halftime? Was it 41-20? 41-20. So there's only been six points. So far, yeah. put up by Merrimack this quarter. Uh, so they're calling the foul. I thought it looked like a travel there, but they're going to call foul on Rodrigo. On her. Got Penny, Penny Annis coming in. Aim for Meredith Winterburn. Yeah, took, out, took out the hot hand of Meredith yeah. Winterburn. The three point. The Larry Bird of uh, <laughs> Goffstown Grizzlies tonight. Vaughn knocking oh, a few Vaughn, tips a, and a rebound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think uh, one of the Merrimack players yeah, just, just got, got rolled hurt. over. She got rolled on here a little bit. Casely Smith. Yeah, I think Vaughn rolled on her knee a little bit. So Vaughn will go to the line for one and one here. And she sunk the first one, so 64-26. Just under a minute to go in the third quarter. Ava lines up and hits her second shot. Well, Merrimack's coming back down again with McGaffrey. Oh, Gus, that was nice. Merrimack worked yeah. it in again, but could not Good sink take. that. One from the outside. They're not hitting short. those outside no. shots at all. 
Goff's down with numbers so, here. Giro made a great move under the basket and threw it up to Trinka. Trinka brought it down the court. Went in off Goffstown, out off Goffstown, so McGaffrey will bring it back in for Merrimack. Great pass inside. That was a good pass inside, and that seems to be the only shots they're hitting is when they're right under the basket. Yes. And Goffstown have not been giving him a lot of looks there. Jerob out the trink on top. Oh. Oh, by his pass. Hey, Green. Hey, Green. Hunt down checking in back heat, in. Trying to keep that in. So Hunt's back in for Trinka. Jiro kind of playing the general out here. And that's very aggressive play for Goffstown. And that's the end of the third quarter. We're looking at a 65 to 28 lead. Um, so it's looking again, Goffstown's in well in control of this game right now, Rob. Yeah, they held Merrimack to eight points there. Uh, you know, McCaffrey hit a three early on and it wasn't much after that. Right, and the only ones that are really hitting is if they can get it in close under the basket. They're having a hard time and Goffstown's credit, they're, they're really not letting them in. So that's, that's important, you know, so. We'll see how they respond. I'm sure. I'm sure he's going to come out with some pressure to see if we can put a quick run together and make it a little closer game. Um, we're in the double bonus. The, the Merrimack still only has one timeout. So, and you know, right now you can see. I think. I think part of it is a little bit of frustration on Merrimack's side. And I think at this point, uh, you know, with a coach can pick up a little bit of what he's saying. I think he's just trying to really talk about the fundamentals with them and trying to just keep them focused. Uh, you know, how they finish up this last quarter can go a long way to helping Merrimack in their next game. So, and, and Goffstown, really, it's the same really for uh, Coach Largie. He just wants to keep this kind of rhythm going here, get a chance to get everybody in the lineup tonight, but also keep this uh, momentum going because you got to like the way they're playing right I now. I agree. Yeah, I agree. If you can get some of these uh, players that don't get much time, a little more time tonight, uh, the confidence level will improve. That's right. We shot 8 for 11 from the line that quarter, which uh, that hasn't happened in the first two games where we've been solid from the foul line. Right. So right now, Gosstown's moving the ball. Oh. And the Good big steal there. steal there by number 10, Shannon Sadawi. And uh, she had an easy layup. There was nobody in front of her. No challenge at all to that. Ava Vaughn takes a long three. Oh, Penny short. with the rebound. So Penelope came down with that rebound, but it was going to be a jump ball now. So Merrimack's going to bring this out. You don't want Goffstown to get sloppy here. That's right. So it's important that they just stick with what's been working. And again, it looks like they're trying to keep Merrimack to the outside. That's a... That went out of bounds. Tried to hit her across the baseline, just ran out of room. Again, you can see they're trying to work it in underneath, and Gosstown's just not giving them anything, which is no. great. This is uh, defensively, it's a, it's really been a clinic for Gosstown tonight. And I think this is the way they started the Memorial game, but then got away from it as the game went on. True. Yeah, that's the point I was trying to make earlier, the adversity, you know, when, when things get sloppy or it gets to be tighter, you know, how do you respond? And they did a great job uh, responding tonight and against Winnicunit. Right. So McGaffrey's bringing it back in for Merrimack. And it looks like we're going to have a wholesale change here for Goffstown. You're going to have both Winterburn sisters. Lily Green's coming back in, I see. So uh, Foreman's going to come back in. So. Yeah. This is an interesting uh, group that's coming in because there's a lot of height with this group that's checking in right now. Oh, it's all height, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I you got the Winterburn point, sisters, uh, Foreman, Sasso, Lily Green, run the and point. Sasso. Yeah. So I think Sasso would be the shortest one. Yeah. And she's, what, 5'9"? Yeah, exactly. Oh. So like you said earlier, chance for Coach Largy to really experiment with some things and some lineups tonight. Yeah, 
and they're keeping oh, Merrimack on the outside. Winterburn. Nice block by Ava Winterburn. Over to Lily Green. Over to Sasso. Sasso's going to work it into the offensive zone to Meredith Winterburn. Sasso back into Ava Winterburn. And they're, they're doing a good job of talking, too. That's another thing I'm noticing tonight, too. You're right. They weren't doing that last no. week. Uh, Ava turned a little turn shot. She's got a, such a quick spin move, but you know, there it was. It was, you know, eight or ten passes around. Oh, nice, nice move. move. Very nice Shana. layup for Sadawi. She's, she must be up to six or eight points for tonight, too. Oh, Winterburn tried to take an outside shot. Again, Lily Green came down with the rebound. Yeah. Merrimack puts another one up. Alexis Best got that one. Sasso's bringing it down out to Winterburn up on the point. Over to her sister Meredith. Back inside to Sasso, back to Ava. Takes a long three, just missed. But Sasso right there to grab the rebound and she, she draws the foul. So she'll go to the line again. So this is the third or fourth time she's gone to the line, Sasso. Yeah. And she's done a good job sinking these. Three for four on the night. That's good, Rob, that you're keeping track of this. Well, i got to keep you honest. Well, that's true. Somebody's got to. The viewers want to know. <laughs> the viewers want to know. That's right. And if the viewers want to know, Rob, we'll tell them. We're going to give it to them. That's right. We'll Strict give it to orders them. from Scott. You know, we got to give them the details. Yeah. yeah. Scott Gross is out uh, doing the boys game down in Merrimack. So what the, see how that game's going. So hopefully the boys are having the same success. Yeah. Oh. I got a chance to watch the boys game on TV when I got back from Winnicunit the other night. So. An explosive second half. Yeah, I heard. I did hear about that. So Meredith Winterburn draws the foul, and it looks like a shooting foul. So McGaffrey, yeah, one on one. McGaffrey will go to the line, and again, she's been the uh, her and Emma have been the, the uh, offensive spark plugs for Merrimack as that goes. McCaffrey sinks the first one. That was easy. That was smooth. And now she's on the line again for the second shot. Puts it up. Sinks that one nice and smooth, too. So Ava she's Winterburn. She's got 11, McCaffrey. Yeah. Winterburn uh, inbounds at the Sasso. Back to Ava Winterburn. About the Foreman to Sasso again. They're looking to work it in deep. Foreman takes a long three. Oh, not bad. Wow. Ava was there to get the rebound. Meredith takes the three. And that's the first three she missed. Yeah. Lily Green. Her sister. No, was that Lily and Green? No, that was Ava when That was Ava. Okay, I thought it was Lily Green sister again. Sister to sister on that 20. one. Tomahawks worked it back in. Long shot by McGaffrey. Foreman's got the ball. She's coming down the court with it. She holds up, brings it to Sasso. I just want to slow it down. Ava takes a long three, and she's trying to get a little bit of yeah. her sister's magic. I think the car <laughs> ride home bragging, would be interesting, right? She bragging rights so when yeah. she gets home. She doesn't want to say she would get a three. Ava makes a good move back out to Meredith. Meredith back to her sister, Ava. Over to Sasso. Again, Gosstown slowing this all down. Meredith tries to go in. Yeah, deep. she looked in. Went She's off got a, a line change here again. So we got uh, Trinka coming back in. Along with uh, so Penelope, Ella Annis. And Penny, yeah. And and Ella, right? Yeah. Yeah, Ella Malone. So Sasso gets it underneath. Oh, nice runner. Take, yep. So one little hand. 
One hand little shot, so she sinks it in. So Gosnell's up to 72 points. It's been a while since I think the girls got 72 points. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> I don't know if they did it all last year, did no, they? No, I don't, I don't think, think so. they did. I think you're going back to the Walsh era. Yeah. Or, you know. Yeah, Kelly could put some baskets in. And again, I think it's been a good mix. I mean, we got the, a lot of people are scoring. So. Yeah. Well, Ava Vaughn's coming back in, and she'll take out Sasso. Yeah, I got on my stat sheet, eight of our Grizzlies have uh, contributed offensively tonight. Well, that's really good, too. Mixing it up offensively. And I think every, I think it's fair to say almost everybody's contributing defensively, too. I agree. So, playing very well. Ooh, Trinko with a nice move there. Well, Merrimack's working it back down. Driving right underneath, and nice basket by Alexis Best. And, and she's had five this quarter, so. So she's doing well. He calls his last timeout just for substitutions here. No, I don't think they gave it to him. So. Yeah, they gave him, yeah. Oh, they did? Yeah, just a substitution timeout. Oh, I see. All right. We got Winterburn, the Trink uh, back to Ava, Ava Brown. Oh, then for Penelope, and she draws the foul now. I think that's five on Priscilla. That's her fifth foul. Poor Maya. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't been out there that much, no. but when she has, she's been getting fouls. So. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. So a lot of fortunate yep. uh, off the glass tonight. So Penelope sinks one, and she sinks her second one. Good job for her. And I think those two foul shots, that was uh, her first uh, getting some points. So that yes. puts another Grizzly in the... Yeah, that gives us nine. Getting some points in this game. So nine forwards again. I'll tell you, Yvonne, look good passing here. Oh. That one almost came our way. There, Mac. Yep. Well, you would have dove in front of that I for would have me protected anyway, Rob. You, yeah. That's right. That's, uh, you gotta, you gotta keep the talent safe there, yeah, Rob. Yeah, the rookie's gotta take one for the team. That's right. That's what you're supposed to do. Take I, the hit to make the play. I got it. <laughs> you know, you protect, protect the velvet voice, Rob. <laughs> there you go. Trinket with you're, another rebound. <laughs> remember, Rob, you're expendable. That's right. <laughs> Oh, Meredith Winterburn's looking around. Again, Gostown's doing a good job at distributing the ball, so everybody's getting a touch here. Ooh. I think they're content to let this run out here. We're at 15 seconds. That's the end of the game, 74-41. And Gostown's just looking to use up this game. Meredith Winterburn. And this game will end 74-41. And again, I think an all parts of the game you got to be very happy with Gosstown's game I think they played very well I agree you know they did the little things right they uh, hustled after loose balls rebounding driving to the basket nine nine Grizzlies in the scorebook on the offensive side hitting free throws it looked really good that's right they did it uh, they did it everywhere they did it with hustle I think the intensity was maintained throughout the game yes and uh, the, the good thing and what you like to see is it was maintained from no matter who was out there on the court. Uh, so that that's good consistency that I'm sure the coach likes to see. Right. You can kind of work everybody into the lineup and, and get that same intensity throughout the whole the whole game. So uh, anyway, that's, that's going to be a wrap for us. Uh, and 
girls Again. go to Keene uh, next week and Nashua North. So North. two away games two, next week. Two road games. And what, when are they back here at the Grizzly back, Den? Uh, uh, the 27th, they have Exeter. December 27th, 27th, and I encourage people to come out to these games. They're fun. They're nice to watch. So, again, thanks for everybody who tuned in. And uh, that's it. So for Bob Bartolucci and Rob, Rob Foreman, Foreman yeah, we are checking out. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Bye-bye.